Bradish now. Before we do that, just a brief safety reminder for everybody here. Uh, please stay well behind the road golf area as well as the yellow band you see on the side of As there will be some close clearances when the turn table comes around, this event are welcome by every round. Now, to give a little historical context of the turn table itself, it was produced in 1916 by the American Bridge Company called Ambridge for short. Originally located in Macon, Georgia, for the Central of Georgia Railway shops there, until the length of locomotives exceeded the turntable's capacity to be able to turn them around. They got too long for it. So it was then relocated to Cedartown, Georgia, for a time until in 1982 we had enough funds here at TBRM to purchase the turntable and install it where you see it here today. Now the table itself is about 80 tons in weight and about 80 feet in length and originally would have been turned by hand. There were four individuals who would have done this, two on this side, two on the other side. They would drive onto their respective poles and push with all their might to spin the locomotives around. But now we've got two upgrades, the first being our wonderful conductor for today, Conductor Ellis, who's going to do a fantastic job of operating a 25 horsepower motor underneath the shed to spin the locomotive around 180 degrees and put it on the other end of our train. So right now our locomotive is sitting on track one, pulling forward onto the turntable. Turn this way. Now, take a very specific right note of the next maneuver that he will be doing with the locomotive is going to balance the locomotive on the turntable. This is what's known as a balanced turntable. We've got to balance all 120 to 30 tons in the center of the turntable as there is a six foot bearing on the center.